Hello fellow survivors and welcome back to the road to 500 days. 20 parts now. We're getting there. It's still going to take quite a few more episodes, but we're getting there. And I'm stuck in the dark in Coastal Highway looking at the garage. And uh, I think actually if you see the horizon lines there, uh, it's actually light enough to craft now because the the left and right sort of rays of the sun are above the, the horizon line, which means that it's actually light, even if you can't see. But I can actually craft now. Before we do that, though, uh, let's do some food. We'll eat some wolf meat. We need to make water as well. And let's have a look here. Uh, I think actually I wrote down what to do. Create bear, we'll make water, maybe hunt deer. Yeah, well, have a look at that. I think I might do is, so we're going to start crafting the bear bedroll and uh, maybe do some more repairs. And we're going to then make the, the bear bedroll. But I think let's see what the weather's like outside because I do need to make some water. We don't have that much. Okay, I just wanted to see if by chance... If the moose is there, I always check. So this moose can randomly spawn. If there was a sunny, sunny morning. Does not seem like it. So I think... All this cooked, is any uncooked? Yeah, this is all uncooked. Take all this inside. And then what we're going to do is all this, this is also all cooked. All cooked. What we're going to do, we have cabin fever. <clears throat> so I'm actually going to, or risk of cabin fever rather. I'm actually going to make the uh, fire out here. That should do it. I'm going to use a match for that. Uh, because then I can at least reduce cabin fever while I cook. I need some water to actually craft this thing. Fire. Otherwise we're going to get dehydrated. So let's make a fire. Let's cook the rest of this meat. On, little fire. And then we will craft the bare bedroll and anything else we might need. And then we're out of here. I could potentially kill another bear. I'm not sure if it's necessary. How many torches do I have? Just the one, but it's a big torch. Let's put on some sticks. And a couple pieces of coal. And oh, of course I had a fire there. <laughs> well, that's alright. Okay. And actually, let's just put right away some water on here. Probably two minutes. The locker. Grab these two. I can't see, I just know where to go. <laughs> Alright, and then we're going to use maybe a second fire. I'm not sure, we'll see. 48 minutes. Let's drop these so we don't attract anything. I want to break these down at hour 57. And these, hour 57. Uh, I think instead I'm going to craft some arrows. But I want to have some fire hardened arrows disposable so I can use them against uh, wolves. Because I'm basically just using them as the turn, and that's it. Okay. There we are, some water. And then we can do this. Do that and start cooking these things. Anything else to craft? I don't think so. Let's see, let's make one more of these. I want to just have them. There we go. Wind is picking up and it did blow it out. Let's see, am I protected here? I think I am. I think actually this is protected too. No, it's not. 
this is. So if I do this. Definitely do this. Let's see here. Oh, this is, this is very specific, but this can be done. This can be done. There we go. That's always uh, the thing. Like when uh, the wind blows out your fire, I usually. Not always, but usually there is an option to reposition the fire, <clears throat> allowing you to just continue cooking. But of course, you lose the fuel, which is a shame. But still, I put one coal on here. I'm going to move this over here, and then I'm going to go and pick up some wood. Pick up the stuff. Let's put on these books also. Can we do some cabin fever? All right, it. Put these on. And a few of these. There we are. Okay. How many arrows do I have now? Nine. That's fine. Okay, that's cooking, this is all cooked, we need to cook those things, alright, looking good, looking good, 23 minutes, we can maybe sharpen some stuff, while we're at it. Take that, keep going. That's cooked already. Cooked, cooked, cooked. I wonder if I can drop any of this. Is any other did I that's not cooked, yeah. Alright, that's <laughs> that was a small piece. Let's, let's eat that. That's the wolf. Down there. Nine minutes. We'll be safe from this wolf. As long as the campfire is still burning. And it's the best it's best to pass time when the wolf is fleeing. If if you pass time on a campfire while a wolf is on you, there's a high chance you'll just ignore the fire and uh, attack you and you don't want that but if you instead uh, do it when he's running away <clears throat> then it's all right go get a little bit of lantern fuel as well Put 13 30 okay let's do two sharpens then One more. And there we go. And that's cooked. And now I got some lantern oil. 0 0.4, very little. I might as well be fuel. Twenty one minutes. Uh, four. Uh, put some reclaimed wood on then. we can do is this put on half a liter and then we pass time but not completely pick it back up put this down now it's roughly the same there you go that's all cooked is there anything i need to create i don't think so no 
Oh, did the wind blow it out again? <clears throat> yes, the wind changed. That's not too windy, okay. Wind in the air too, okay. Uh, what about here? There we go. <laughs> this is repositioning the fires again and again and again. Because uh, what I want to do now is actually make water while breaking down these uh, pallets for more wood. Come on, little fire. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Grab the charcoal. Uh, this might have some charcoal too. And let's put on some wood. And then we're going to put on some more water. But you can't have too much water. The more water you have, the better, because you have it for later. And now let's hope the wind doesn't change. Which it didn't, I don't think. No, in fact, it calmed down. Okay, great. I'm not sure I can carry much more. All right, that's very, very good. Then uh, I think, I think we're about done with that. But seeing as we have a fire going, we might as well make some more, and we can make some break down some more pallets. Uh, how about I delete something? Uh, I, I probably will get cold breaking this down. I could reloc <coughs> relocate the fire over here and break those down. That's an option. What about here? Mine is 11. That's not the worst. Let's do this. Yeah, so now it's not as bad. There we go. Yeah, and then uh, we'll do we'll do one more. Let's go inside, and we're going to drop our water for future use. Jeez, this is cold. We'll put it here, I think, in the corner, and we'll drop pretty much all of it, really. So now we have a bunch. There we go, much better. Load of wood. Uh, we don't need all of this wood, at least not now. Drop. Most of it. There we go. And then I can have a look. Is something I need to repair while this is cooking? Oh well, yeah, that. <laughs> but I need to wait a bit. Um, I guess this could be repaired. Hour oh, twenty-six. Wow. I think actually that's what it takes, more or less. Let's do it. There you go. So notice it's, it didn't actually burn. Because uh, the fire starting skill and being outdoors made meant that the fire was going for longer. I don't think we need to break down any more pallets. I think we can let this fire die now. Uh, cabin fee risk is gone for the moment. And then we'll take a few of these. We can take a bunch, really. Kind of take all of these. And now it's almost dark, but we're going to start making the bare bedroll. Let's see, is any of these cured? That one's cured. And that one's cured. But let's do that first. The hat, no, the gloves are almost broken as well. Let's do that first. We failed, wow. That's a shame. Wasted. Yeah, 36. Alright, so that's fine. They will last. And then we're going to start making the bare bedroll. Which requires two of these. And I think it's four guts, is it? I think it's four guts. Six guts. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
and five cloth as well. So I'm going to start making that. It's going to take a little while. Yeah, 22 hours. It's going to, we're going to just do this until it's too dark to make anything. Oh yeah, it's too dark. And I'm going to use the windows to navigate to the bed. Oh yeah. And we're going to sharpen. Let's harvest this first. Yeah. I'm going to sharpen the knife while it's dark just to uh, pass some time. Seems safe, right? Sharpening a knife in the dark. We got a cabin fever risk again, but it's okay because we were out there for like half a day or something. Let's just use this whetstone and sharpen this as far as we can. We're going to use the knife to craft the bedroll as well. There we go, and I think we'll probably use the rest of this to sharpen this. Yeah, let's do that. I always recommend carrying a hatchet around. Carrying a knife around is not essential, but it does help. Let's do this. And then and it broke. There we are. We'll sort out later. And you can see we have the bedroll, so to speak, in inventory, but it doesn't work because it's in progress. And then we're going to... It doesn't matter what the condition is. Oh, there's food, because we're going to be a little while. So let's eat this. Have a drink. And then we're going to sleep. However long, we'll put, we'll put 10, but we're not going to sleep 10. It's going to probably be more like 8, 7 or 8. Then once it's light, which it is now, again, you can see the... Uh, the uh, the sun is above the horizon, so we go back to the workbench, which is here. Once you know, I, and I can't see anything, but I know by memory where it is. And then we just continue making this. Uh, let's put six hours. Oh, I'm getting dehydrated, but that's okay. We'll regenerate that, so I'm not too bothered. There we go. Uh, let's eat some more wolf meat. Have a drink. And then uh, keep crafting. And we won't finish it today, but we'll finish it tomorrow. If I had a lot of lantern fuel, like if I had a jerry can, for example, uh, then I probably would put the lantern to burn in the night. And just recover, uh, keep crafting the last of this in the night. Oh, an Aurora, nice. We could go to the Aurora cave, actually. That guy who if that's the case. Seem so crazy right now. But I think I prefer being prepared for that. I, I want the Aurora cave doesn't have much loot in it on Interlope, although it has been changed, so it is a little bit different now. Um. I could go there, but I think I prefer going to the Aurora Cave in preparation. So I want the best way to do it is to bring a bunch of food and water and have it there just in case I get stuck down there. So I think we'll do that another time. Instead, we'll utilize the fact that it's actually light, that we can actually craft. And now it's going to craft through the uh, Aurora. Actually, hold on. Let's put the radio on. Yeah, you get a little music, like piano music or something. And yeah, that's the music. Oh, anyway, we got it now. So we have two bed rolls. There's quite a big difference between them. This one weighs three kilos. This one weighs one. But if you put them down, this one will give you. It's not fully repaired, of course, but it gives like four degrees warmth. And this one is 12. So there's, it's weighs three times, but gets more warmth as well. On an interloper, that's worth it because it makes you so much more secure when you're out in the open and you're sleeping in caves and stuff like that. 
so it's much easier to survive traveling but because of that we're also going to I think we'll just leave this bedroll here we don't need it we're gonna leave that um, let's eat I think we'll just sleep now I think And then in the morning I'll repair some more rabbit clothes, I think. Grab a couple more of those. So curing. Do I need to make another bow, actually? Maybe that's an idea. Let's get rid of the um whetstone. We don't need that. Get rid of these as well. Okay. Nice. I think we'll sleep instead. Let's sleep uh ten hours. Doesn't matter if it's late in the day. It'll be warmer. There we are. Nice. And we have full condition back. Cabin fever is setting in, but that's going to be okay because we're going to be leaving soon. Let's have a drink. And I want to repair the rabbit. Uh, grab. Uh, any of these? Yes, one, two. So this, I'll repair this again. Don't repair it as much. You could almost just make new ones, but... I don't want to repair this as well. There we go, that's 99. Uh, let's, can we repair this one more time? So I only have one rabbit pelt stored here now, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, but that's okay. Right. Now, that's much better. So much better. Right. We need to repair this, but we can do it later. Okay, now we're looking good. That is looking good. So I think it's time to leave this area. Uh, but we need to sort out our inventory a bit before we do. It's late in the day, but that's okay. When it's late in the day like this, I usually just run to the next place to sleep and then go from there. Now the question now is, should we go via the mines to get the stim? I'm leaning towards maybe doing that. Uh, I think maybe I will do that. Um, Go into the mines, get some coal. Because no matter what, no matter how you do it, you you end up in the dam. I think we will do that. We'll go via the the Pleasant Valley mine, the Cinder Hills mines. First, though, um, let's see. What should I bring? Let's see here. So this we can leave behind. Yeah. Uh, fishing, I'm going to leave this fishing tackle behind. I'm going to leave a second one behind as well, just for uh, fishing use. Uh, pry bar, we'll leave that behind. We can, I'm probably going to bring all this to my main base later, but not right now. Uh, there's two of these, so let's bring one of those back. Uh, bring one of these back as well. Bring the spray paints back, because I just collect them. Let's take a whetstone. Uh, food, I'm going to take the crackers back. We got food outside. Uh, this can stay and this become cloth. This can stay. Uh, the books can stay. Actually, these I want to take back. But I'm going to read them. <laughs> but this one is uh, pointless. I think that's it. Is there anything to put in here? It'll be a bit heavy, but it's okay. Not a big deal. Yeah. I think we are okay. Yeah. Alright, nice. Then I think we're going to go... I'm going to... be a little bit heavy, because I'm going to take some... food with me as well. But that's okay. 
And let's grab one more bottle. Go outside. Oh wow, blizzard, okay. And then I'm gonna take some more bear meat with me. If I can drop any of this gear. Doesn't matter that I'm heavy. I'm also gonna eat these, yeah, that's fine. Okay, then we're gonna head out. We are done here in Pleasant Valley. We're gonna head to the mines. And go through it. Get the stim. Has this been looted? Must must be looted, right? Yeah. Get the steam in the mine, and uh, we're not going to stay in Pleasant Valley. We're just going to go through it, really. Go through it, and uh, heads into Winding River. And then back to trappers. And once we're in trappers, we'll resituate. I'll have a look to see what supplies there are in trappers. Dump some stuff. And then what we're going to do is... Is up this way. And then after that, we're going to head to Broken Railroad, I think. We're going to explore Broken Railroad. We will um, establish a base there. Hopefully, there's a moose in the hunting lodge. Which would be great. And then uh, we will head I can't feel my feet. to Forsaken Airfield to get a radio. Is there a cave is he here? No, I didn't think so. Getting cold, but that's alright. I have quite a lot of flare stuff, which is fantastic. Now, there's still things to explore here in Coastal Highway. We haven't done everything. There are a few smaller things I haven't done. I had, There's a few cars I haven't looted. There's a few corners of the map I haven't been to. Uh, I could uh, make the base even better. So, for example, when I get back here, I'm definitely going to kill a bear and a few deer and more rabbits to have supplies here. But at the moment, it's it's okay. So we will come back here one day and make the base a little bit better and also um, uh, get some more supplies. But for now, we're going to head home with Mr. Lake, but we're going to go via Pleasant Valley. There's also more things to do in Pleasant Valley, but I can wait. We're not going to do that yet. I'm mostly going to pass through because I want the stim. And if you're wondering how I know where to go, I just know from experience. From here, it's easy to find a mine. You can't get lost from here. You just follow the, the road itself. So follow these like wind banks. And they, it will lead you all the way there. I was going to map also, but uh, of course the blizzard won't allow that. And I'm running because, uh, well, for one thing, I'm cold. I like to get there faster, so I don't take as much cold damage. But in addition to that, it's late in the day, so it's not that long until it's dark. And... Um, because I'm so rested, it's nice to become tired when it's night, so I can sleep through the night. I'm going to try and keep some cover here. In the Mystery Lake, I probably will hunt some deer if I don't have any pelts, because I would like to make the deer skin pants, actually. And the reason I want to go to Forsaken Airfield uh, now, I mean, it's still going to be a few episodes away, is I want to have the radio. I want to have the option of having the radio. So, for example, what happened last night when the Aurora hit and I was crafting, you know, if I had the radio, I would have been like, oh, cool, let's go outside and see if we can find a cache or, uh, you know, a bunker or something, right? 
but because uh, I didn't have it, I don't have that option. So I would like to go get the radio just to have it. We're not going to loot everything and do the whole tale in one go. We're going to do it in segments, but it's nice to have the option. By the way, there are, I, there are bunkers. There, well, I, there is a bunker in Coastal Highway, I believe, but I'm not sure where it is. I haven't actually looked up where, where all the bunkers are. I know where mm, three of them are, I think. Three or four. I know Bleak Inlet. I know Mystery. Uh, I know Mystery Lake. I think. The Mystery Lake. Polo Musk. I think I know. Hashir Valley. I know. Uh, I think I know maybe half of them. I'm not sure. If there is one in this region, I'm not sure where it is. Pleasant Valley. Uh, I have an inkling where it is, but I'm not sure. I'm not gonna go for it now though. Mr. Lake, I, I think I know where it is. Anyway, we're almost there. Just keep running, keep running. Taking some coal damage here, but that's no problem. Hopefully the lantern fuel will be good enough to actually go through the mines. We'll sleep in the mines, because we have we get cabin fear risk, but okay. Alternatively, we can sleep in a cave outside the mines. That's also an option, actually. Maybe we should do that. All right, here we are. Cinder Hills Mines. All right. Give me for a sec. All right. Okay, we don't have much in terms of uh, lantern fuel here, but we'll see. I think I've looted all this already. Yeah, because I remember I went through here. To check a couple things now you have to forgive me i'm not gonna light the lantern yet because i have already looted here before so i'm going to light the lantern and i'm a little bit further in which will be around here so here i also checked i think yes but i don't think i've gone further than this so i'm gonna light the lantern here There we go, and hopefully that's enough. The steam should be on top of some planks. Further in. Let's check here. We got a, a new lantern. I'll take it. Ooh, with loads of oil. Okay, then there's no problem. <laughs> nice. Let's keep going. Might sleep in the cave outside, actually. Let's reduce cabin fever that way, because we'll probably be indoors a bit in Mr. Lake 2. Go. There we are. Here's the other room. There's coal and a workbench and a book. Anything in here? Anything here? No. Open. Anything interesting? No. Backpack. No, what about over here? We got coal, scrap metal. We'll check the crates another time. Take this coal, I guess. I really need it, but. Uh, I think it's over there, yeah. So here's a crate. Coal, sometimes there's a body here as well. Not today, though. So much coal. <laughs> this should be the atrium here. So the stim, but I didn't find it earlier. The stim should be up here, up there. Uh, before we do that, though, I'm going too heavy, aren't I? I'm gonna pick up the coal, but we'll dump some of it by the by the entrance. Let's also check this way here on the other side of the grate here. Nothing here, just oh yeah, now there is a there is a corpse. Nothing. And then a backpack. Nothing. A 
and then we gotta go on the other side there. So over there, you can see this uh, this container here. Next to it is usually a stim if you haven't found it in any other place. Now low difficulties, usually you find rifle bullets there too. I can see the stim, yeah, it's, it's right there. There it is. See it? There it is. Okay, that... Uh, That died. Fortunately, we found the second one. And there it is. We gotta go around, though. I haven't actually used this sim. Uh, in the be before, I very often used at least one by now. Usually, because of an early attack, when I need to get going quickly. Or uh, because I'm exhausted, don't have a bed, will need to climb or something. So it's not unusual for me to use a stim. But at the moment, I haven't used any. But I always carry at least one on me for certain situations. Let's see here. Here is the old stim. So if it's not here, it will be by the entrance that we came from on the shelves or in that first room I was in. It will always be one of those three places. Nice. If you're watching this, by the way, and you're not familiar with stims, I have a bunch of them now. When you take a stim, you get full energy back and you can sprint indefinitely. Or like, you don't get tired of sprinting for 60 seconds. Longer if you have that feat and increases it. Uh, 60 seconds. And it ignores injury too. So if you have a sprain, you can still run. If you have broken ribs, you can still climb. So it ignores all of that and allows you to sprint for 60 seconds. And it also heals you for 15%. So you can use it willy-nilly, but once it expires, you become exhausted and you need to sleep. So it's best used in an emergency. So say you you get attacked by a wolf and you're very low health and you need to get to shelter quickly, it's a good idea to pop a stim and rush to the nearest shelter and then bandage up and recover health. And for that, you should always carry at least one. I usually carry two or three, uh, just in case. And we have a bunch of them. Oh, what a nice day. <laughs> we actually make a fire? Oh, okay, shame. Let me just save this. All right. Let's see, can I map here? Or it gets too dark. Yeah, nice. And the memento cache. I should go get that, maybe. How heavy am I? Pretty heavy. Oh yeah, they're coal, because I'm carrying so much of it. Let's uh, drop some. We'll just drop it out. Yeah, I guess. Up ten here, and have a have some food. Just to reduce the weight a little bit. Now we can actually run. How about that? <laughs> and then here, there's a bear cave, and there's the bear right now. We don't need to kill him, though. Unless he comes straight for me. A little bit of a shortcut, as you may see. Ow. There we are. And this is this bear cave right here. But we don't want to stay here. That's too risky. Because he could come back, that a bit. and then uh, <laughs> that wouldn't be very good. We'd have to kill him going out like we did in Desolation Point. That's no good. Yeah, spring. And I'm going to sleep outside here because of the cabin fever. I'd like to reduce that. Now, do you see that the wolf ran away? That's because the bear was too close. But instead, over here where there's rabbits, there is another cave. 
we're going to sleep in that cave. And in fact, this area is an area for faithful cartographer that a lot of people miss. Because it's the upper falls. I forgot the name of the falls. But there's like upper falls and lower falls. The lower falls is down by the houses. And people got that. But then very often people forget about the upper part, which is here. So I'm a bit slow and I also smell low, not that much. And I'm gonna sleep in this cave. And with the gear that we have and the bed bear bed roll, we should be able to sleep here without fire. If you're in this situation though and feel you're uncertain and not sure if you'll actually survive, uh, then just sleep in increments. Sleep, you know, an hour at a time or something. Uh, especially if it, it, especially if it's barely warm, then you don't want to take the risk. Okay, I think I want to also drop stuff here, pick it up after. Just don't want to smell. Now on a map over here. I think there are some cattails here too. I think, yeah, there are. Uh, I don't need them though, so we'll leave those. Oh yeah, upper falls. Uh, literally, it's just called upper falls. And here we can map. Look this way in case the bear shows up. And that's the upper falls right there. Okay, then we're gonna go into this cave and we're gonna sleep there. Should be okay. We don't need the mushrooms for now. I was extremely lucky to not get parasites though. But I actually map the cave itself. No. So we'll map the cave too. Go, and has a little bit of coal. That's nice. And I'm just going to drop some food and stuff here so I don't attract any predators. We'll grab this. We'll map in here too. We go, and then we're going to sleep here. I don't think anything to cure. No. As you can see, it's twenty degrees plus twelve, so we should be fine. But if you're not not risk it, you can do this like say two hours. You'll see it should drop from now. It's twenty and twelve. So it's thirty-two degrees plus. It's fine. Even if a blizzard hits, we should survive it. But you'll see it's going to drop. Yeah. See now it's uh. 29. But we should be should be fine here. So let's have a drink. Oh, the bear is out. Let's... Hmm. He shouldn't be coming here. Sorry, where's the... Uh... He doesn't enter this cave. But he should be okay. But just to be safe, what you can do is grab it and go up on the ledge here. It should, should be possible to do it. Uh, and done it in a while. I don't usually do it, but it'd be possible like that. There we are. Now we're up here. And then I think you can actually put this in somewhere. Let's have a look. Or did I patch this so we couldn't do it anymore? Uh, this doesn't look like you can. No. All you can do though is you can like this and stay up here. I'm gonna need some first aid soon. Like that. I'm still up here. But potentially out of reach. I don't think he's going to re uh, get in here though. He goes to his own little thing. Let's sleep six hours. Very often when I'm outdoors, even if it is safe, I, very, I often don't sleep longer than about five hours. I figure that's enough time in case it does get cold. Um, but if it's in a cave I've slept in before, uh, which I have here, uh, 
And for example, in Hush River Valley, where you basically make a base in a cave, if if that's where I'm sleeping, then I already know that I'm not going to freeze to death. But regions are different. Some regions are colder than others. For example, Bleak Inlet can get really cold. You have to be a bit careful there. All right. We might go to Thompson's Crossing quick. Yeah, we're heavy, but not extremely heavy. There we go. By the night, cabin fever risk is gone. And we're gonna head to Thompson's Crossing. We might drop like uh, some coal or something there. Thompson's Crossing is a typical secondary base. That happens a lot when the longer you play the game and the longer your run becomes, the more bases you get. So the way I do it is I always have one location in each region that is like the regional base. I have a main base, which is usually Mystery Lake. Um, usually, if not, it's usually Quonset, but it's usually Mystery Lake, Rappers or Camp Office. That's like the main base where I put most of my stuff and that area connects to everything, basically. Uh, however, as you spend more and more time in each region, you also start getting supplies that you put in secondary bases, which is things like uh, this area, for example. I mapped this. I don't know if I have mapped this. Have I actually been in here? Let me check to see if I've been in here. So over time, you'll get little supplies here and there. This is, I have not been here. All right, well, let's loot it then. Hey, Peaches. I'm not sure I've even been to uh, Thompson's Crossing, but I believe I have. Uh, we can actually check. We can go to Journal. Figure out when I went to Pleasant Valley Arena. Uh, up on. Yeah, and then when I came back from this, did I go to... Oh, I haven't actually been here. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think, according to that, I don't remember. I, I thought I had been here, but maybe I misremember. That's one of the drawbacks that when you take so long to do a run, you sometimes forget where you've been. Uh, but I lose track of areas I've been to, not been to, generally speaking. But that's okay. There's nothing we really, really need need here. And I don't know if we can bother to loot all of this either. We'll do that another time. But I do want to go get that stim. Whoops. Because uh, we will be back to this region as well. Multiple times. Uh, we might actually grab a liter of this. Okay, so that's done. Drop the food. Wrap this. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that, that was a bear going, going around. Yeah, hello. Don't mind me, Mr. Bear. I'm just going around looting and mapping. I can kill him, but there's no point in killing him. Okay, let's check this car. I definitely haven't been here because I haven't looted any of this stuff. I thought I had been here. I might loot Thompson's Crossings later, although now that I'm here, it seems a bit of a shame not to loot it. Might have to do it now. Now, the main loot really here 
other than the mental cash is the matches that are here in the in the rural store. The rural store will have matches always. I guess we might as well loot this while we're here. I wasn't planning on doing that, but now we are here, we might as well. Not really in a hurry as such, so why not? this okay the walking back yeah we might as well loot we're not really in a in a rush as such this should be okay Let's grab also the charcoal here from this. And we can map this actually. Yeah, yeah. And here we got first aid kit. Uh, nothing in it. For something. Rural store is another one that is a cool place to refill the shelves if you really want a little side project. Oops, I didn't even see the matches, <laughs> but yeah, they were right there. I clicked, clicked on them too fast. Uh, matches are right there. There's always matches in here. It varies where they are. Sometimes, well, they can be there. They can be uh, here, for example. Uh, or they can be behind the counter. So if you come here, always check. You always find matches there. Things are sending here. I can't feel my hands. Okay. Guess I'm carrying so much stuff. Didn't mean to actually carry this much. I, did, I thought I had looted this already also. But now that we're here, we might as well check it out. Get the memento as well. Weekly bingo. Ooh. You have to sign up for that. There is actually something called the long dark bingo. Uh, several people have done it, but the uh, main people who did it was uh, Cora and Fizzle and DH Dunn. I think some other people too. Basically like uh, you create a bingo set of events and things you have to do in the long dark. So like say kill a moose, uh, be in a wolf struggle, I think I can use this. go to summit, etc. And then as you do them you cross them off the list and then of course you try to get bingo. And then the first person you get bingo that wins. That only really works if you either compete against yourself or you have a friend that you stream together with or play at the same time or something. Okay, so let's loot everything in here. Here we have a six top stove. Lots of charcoal. Let's loot all of this. There's quite a, oh, okay. quite a lot of loot here in Thompson's Crossing. Low difficulty especially, there's quite a lot of food. And when you're here and you're looting these areas, all these drawers, you have to remember to look up. Which is here. Because you got these cabinets too. Easy to miss. And of course we have this secret cabinet here in Thompson's Crossing, which we might as well open as we're here. Oh, hey, random handy. matches. How about that? That's cool. And the fuel. 
Thieving. So let me show you. If you're not familiar with the secret cabinet, I'll show you. Okay, so that's it. I check up here also because uh, since they patched things, you never know if there's something here. I haven't really checked if there's anything behind these, but I doubt it. Anyway, well, there's two cabinets here. So one is here, and the other is hidden. It's behind this table. So you can break this down, and now you can open it. Nothing in there. An interloper, the best I've seen people get is uh, a Mackinac. I'm going to leave this behind. Um, I'm going to leave a few things behind here. Let's see, that I don't really need. Let's drop some coal also. There's 10 coal here. Uh, let's put... I don't know. We can put these. They weigh a lot. Just to pick them up later. You know, heavy things. Refuel this. I'm a bit heavy still, but that's okay. I want to take some of this stuff back. Uh, we can leave this also heavy, and this. Yeah, so that, that's okay. A little bit heavy, but not not extremely. Can okay, also, yeah. This, that, and a drink. Yeah, so this is a, but still heavy, but acceptably heavy. All right. So then, there's a few things outside. Um, well, there's a house to loot as well. It's this one here. So let's do that first. Get some misc loot. Uh, wood. We don't need the wood. Main thing you're really looking for is matches, I guess. At this stage in the game, I'm not too bothered about found food because we have uh, level five cooking and we have archery. So you know, you got all the means to just get food. I'm a bit. Uh, this will come in handy. Beyond Alda and how I picked the selection. And then check. Um, yeah, is there any clothing I need? I, I guess not. The only real clothing I really want is the technical balaclava in the, the tails, which uh, we'll get later. Or oh, wool socks. I, I'm still walking around these damn sports socks, so wool socks will be fantastic. That's, I think, Nobody needs this anymore. Oh, the red ones are these, which are extremely rare in love, but you can get them, though. But there's still one or two clothing items I could get. Okay, and we don't need to take the water. All right, so that's the house looted. That's all the buildings looted, except for the church, which only really has one thing. But there are a few things. Oh, actually, I think there's a small little mini place. But uh, there's a few misc items around here. So over here... The farmer's market, which is a cool little thing. You can find one or two smaller things. So usually there's a backpack around here. Yeah. Spray paint. Which I never really use, although on long runs like this, where you can see that I've actually kind of forgotten some of the stuff, and it actually can be used to just mark things to say, you know, I have looted this. So, it's not that it's without use. This is a really, really vibrant red car. I don't know if there are other red cars like this in the game. Not that I remember, anyway. I know where some mementos are, but not all of them. So I just check everything. And here, I don't think there's much except for the coal bin. Or supply bin, rather. Nothing there. I don't think there's anything around here. Very nice day. It's actually sunny, so we can actually 
light a fire if we wanted to. And then over here, there's a little mini little shed or whatever this is. And there isn't really anything except for this. I think I can use this. Okay. And golf. Basically cloth. Getting a lot of loot now to take back. But that's okay. And then uh, before we continue, now let's check this out first. Yeah, battery. We don't need the batteries really, I'm just checking them. Video. And it works in the Aurora, I think. And then we have the church. But before you go into the church, there's also a place down here. Yeah. Where you can find a corpse. I think I found a rifle here on low difficulties. And there's the pry bar. This pry bar well, this stuff will come can also be in the market. Let's check here also. What was that? That can I cut that? Okay. And then here is the picnic area. We can actually just map this. Better do anything. And in here is the memento I found earlier, one of the few mementos that I know about. Which I think is a stim. And it's uh, inside the piano, I think. So in here, there's. In the, before, there was never any loot in here. There was really no reason to go in here. The exception was that there was some cloth here. Uh, I'm not sure there was anything else. Most of that, it's just books. And that's a cotton toque. And I think that's it. Some people don't like to pick up this particular book or this particular book. And uh, you can guess why. But that's every, that's everyone's personal choice. But then I think it's here that there is the memento cache. There are loose boards and painkillers, and that's it. Ooh, just painkillers. I guess the stim is on lower difficulties. There are there are some memento uh, caches that don't exist on interloper. At least I never found them, but they are there on lower difficulties. And there are also some caches that um, have less loot in them. Okay, so we're done with Tom Thompson's Crossing. We're going to head back now. We're going to have a break at a cave up the road. Which is a nice little uh, rabbit cave on the way back. It's a God, yeah. That people often forget about. So if you're ever lost in Pleasant Valley, it's quite easy to navigate once you find a road because it leads everywhere. Like this road here, it leads all the way to the farm or to Black Rock uh, or to uh, Signal Hill uh, or to Mystery Lake if you just know where to turn. Or you can take the other route and it leads basically to Point of Disagreement, which is next to the rope to Timwolf Mountain. As long as you find a road, you can go almost everywhere in the map. It's all connected by the road. Some of the road is kind of hidden though. Okay, so over here, a lovely day. I am tempted to stay in this cave for a day just to uh, regain some stamina and then further combat cabin fever, but we'll see. I think it's just called, I don't think it has a name. It's called the Rabbit Cave. But it's kind of, this is typical like in the middle of nowhere thing. Like I, I, Those of you who are watching, ask yourself, how many times have you been here in Pleasant Valley? In this area here? I'm guessing for many of you it's never or not often, right? Because usually you'd go down there on the road to Thompson's Crossing or up to Mystery Lake or something. But you wouldn't go here. Like, what is there here, you know? Um, 
Oh, there is actually a little area here with a deer carcass usually. And um, some rabbits. Maybe I can shoot a couple rabbits and cook them. Get the hide to take back. Maybe I don't really need the, the rest of it though. I'm not sure I can be bothered. We'll see. Let me try hitting this. This was fun of it. I'll get scared because this, this rabbit got scared. There's a deer carcass right there. I'll be able to go up there and pick it up when I miss, because I will miss. There's the carcass, the doe. I'm not going to interact with it though, because once you interact with it, uh, the decay timer starts. I just want the feathers. And I don't, don't know if I really need the rabbits. I mean, maybe I should grab them, but... And here is the cave. Literally just called cave. But it's uh, it's quite far away from everything, but it's perfectly safe. Like, there isn't really anything that can get you here. There we go. And I don't think there's any loot. Oh, there is. Actually, that's something I can do to pass the time until night. I can sit here and read. Might as well pick this up in case I use it. I probably will leave it there. Field dressing. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, pass some time here. And we're going to spend the night there. Let's read. And I think it was reading this. Let's read that. It's getting late and my character's tired. I'm gonna read. So we're level, leveling up small handguns. Pointless. Uh, fire would be interesting to level. And sewing is... Oh yeah, we definitely have to read this because I'm reached level 3. Uh, I think I can read maybe two more hours. So let's... Um, let's just... Hey, Revolver Firearm level 2. Fantastic. So crazy right <laughs> Drink. <clears throat> and I think we can read two more hours. Um, let's do that. Let's, let's do the reading for that. Two more hours. And I'm going to get tired, but it's also going to get dark, so that's okay. There we are. And a whetstone I do, yeah. So let's use the whetstone. <clears throat> Sharpen a bit as well. Maintaining some stuff, using some stuff. Don't want the tools to break again, do we? So this route back home is definitely longer because of the detour I took to go to the memento cache. And also I thought I had looted Thompson's Crossing, which obviously I hadn't. And as a result, it just took much longer, of course. So this is a bit of a detour as such, I suppose, but... The whetstones eventually run out, so eventually the tools will ultimately break. But you can fix them in the milling machine in Bleak Inlet. If you go to Bleak Inlet, into the workshop there in the cannery during an aurora, you can use one scrap metal to repair the uh, tools. And they go up to 100%. You can also just craft new ones, of course. There's a lot of scrap metal in the world. And with beach combing, uh, it's really not an issue at all. <clears throat> it's really easy. Okay, we're going to sleep. I think I will drink this as well. I'm not going to go for the rabbits because we don't need to. I'm going to sleep. It should be more than warm enough in this region. So let's sleep. Uh, it's not that that warm, but it should be okay. Should be fine. I think there was an aurora. You see how the lights changed? I think there was an aurora. Yeah, 61 days, huh? Yeah, so it went up to, down to 12 degrees. It's kind of the coldest, I suppose. Let's have a drink, and we're going to sleep two more hours just to get all of our stamina back. 
And then we can leave. Uh, I probably will leave some wood behind. I'm quite heavy. Yeah, so how heavy am I? Yeah, let's just leave this wood. It's very heavy. Let's leave this also because I finished reading it. Uh, this, I could actually read two hours of this and then leave it behind. Let's do that. They will get warmer as well. There we go. And I can drop that. And I guess that's good enough. The rest is heavy, but I want to take it back. Clothing items, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. Mending level three, fantastic. So now mending is, yeah, more, more basically more success chance. Can I eat something? I need a couple of these. Drink. Okay, so now we're kind of like heavy. I, I feel like if you're heavy, but below five kilos over, it's fine. Okay, let's continue onwards to mystery lake and we can run again i'm using a lot of resources for this as you can see because also i'm running and then sleeping but i don't I'm not really in a hurry or anything so i'm not too bothered about it so it should be fine if i were to run out of food i do have cattails if i need more food i can uh, kill the uh the the wolf in Winding River, for example, or the rabbits there. Did I actually map the cave? I don't think I did, no. Map this then. Yeah, the cave is here, so we'll have to map it, but that's alright. Getting a bit cold. That's right, it's, it's midday, it's like approaching, getting warmer. Also, we've crossed the day 50 threshold now. So now that we've gone past day 50, the world is no longer going to get cold. The, the world does not get colder now. It's as cold as it gets. Obviously, the cold fluctuates depending on the weather and depending on time of day. And also, to a certain degree, depending on the region. For you can, it's quite cold, for second airfield, it's quite cold and that sort of thing. Uh, but now there is, it's not going to get colder and colder, so it's no, no longer possible to stay ahead of the curve. But if you have the best possible clothing items, and they are fully repaired, you can be warm or barely cold going out. So at the moment for me, I have plus 24 degrees. If I repair everything and replace this with wool socks, I can get about 30 degrees. And as you can see, it's minus 15. Yeah, so I would still be cold here, but in the afternoon, I would be able to walk around with it being like uh, either just barely cold, like minus two, for example, minus five, uh, or uh, you can even be warm, like plus one or two degrees. So that's the main reason I use double bear coat. Double bear coat is heavy, like really heavy. But it does keep you warm. Uh, warm enough that in an afternoon you can be warm on Interloper. Or at least not that cold. Okay, let's see here. I'm pretty sure I've been here at the Pensive Pond. Pretty sure I've been here. But I remember checking for moose. And there wasn't one. I don't think I mapped it, so I might as well check that out. So let's see. Let's see what we got. There is a wolf around here, so I gotta be a bit careful about that. Uh, but let's map this. Map it. that cloth? Yeah, it is. Oh, I haven't been here. Well, I didn't loot this part at least. 
Sewing kit. Cloth. Oh, bunch of stuff. How about that? Does that mean I haven't even looted this? I would have thought that I had, but I guess... Oh, I have not looted this. How bizarre. Let's check this out. Scrap metal. I'm cold already, but I'm still gonna map this. There we go. Little maps in it. Wait, what was that? Uh, oh, a mental hint. Yeah, okay. Let's grab a few of these for the road. Because I'm actually kind of running low on food now. Especially because I'm running and I'm heavy. I'm carrying all this stuff back to base. And most of the stuff I'm t carrying back to base, I don't need to carry back to base. I just like to slowly over time bring a few items back home and store it in Trapper's Cabin and build up a little base, you know. I think that's really cool. Let's go. Let's head back into Winding River. Quite a long journey actually, the ravine would have been way faster and we also would have cured cabin fever. But I'm glad we did it this way just so I could get the stim. And also, um, I wanted to well, map a little bit more, of course. Other than that, it's a, quite the detour to be honest. Let's be a little bit careful here because the bear could be around. There is a bear that patrols this area, or rather there's a bear that can patrol this area. That's his cave over there. Doesn't guarantee that he will be here, but still. Okay, here is the cave to Mystery Lake, or rather Winding River, so we need to go in there. And then we're almost home. But this is a big detail. It would have been way faster through Ravine. But it's not a question of what's fast. Also, what's the hurry, right? Like, it takes as long as it takes. <laughs> there we go. Let's quickly map this first. Oh, I kind of done it already. And then in we go. Okay, why does it select? Oh, I know why. I know why it selects this. It's because when you have two items, it chooses the one with the highest condition, not fuel. So it will always choose this one. The same applies to arrows. For example, if I, uh, I think if I aim at pick an arrow, I think it will choose this one. That's why you have all these varying condition arrows. It doesn't choose the lowest one. I believe. Okay, <clears throat> but we want this one. Lower condition, more fuel. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. We've been through here before. Time of day is it? Okay, afternoon. That's fine. We'll probably sleep. Uh. Not in the dam or maybe in the cave outside just to ensure cabin fever is even more reduced. Now let's see. Normally there's a shortcut I can take down here, but I might pick up the coal. Just for some more fuel back at base. So I clicked on this grief point. Back at two. Did I get the... Yeah, I did, yeah. Revamping cooking soon. This episode, 
has been recorded by before the latest patch, but the, the, as of this video, the next DLC has part three has been announced, which includes things like the ptarmigan and cooking is going to be changed and fishing is going to be changed. So uh, seems likely that's going to be next episode or maybe the one after that. We'll see. Yeah, have Luther this right? Yes. Yes, I do actually need to eat. Uh, that is a good point. I might grab a rabbit or something and just sleep here in the cave for the night. I think that might be uh, might be the best. Good old winding river. Oh, it's barely cold. There so you see the power of afternoon interloper. Minus five degrees only, which is barely anything. So we can just walk casually now. No problem. We're not going to get cold. Yeah. I think there's some cattails on there I haven't looted, but I don't really need it. Actually, have I mapped here? I have not mapped here. Let's do that. Good weather conditions for that. I oh, didn't actually map the cave. Let's do that. I'm not sure if the cave counts. But nevertheless. There we go. It seems like I need to map the turn up here as well. Let's eat the cattail. go. I'm just gonna walk it because uh, it's a really nice temperature. Minus three now. Really nice. It's practically warm now. We're not gonna get cold at all. It's fantastic. A lot of people thought that the Winding River would be the connector region to Blackrock because of the power lines from the dam leading to the prison. But uh, that doesn't seem to be the case. Now it's up here. I'm just going to check it because I haven't actually checked this little corner since they did the loot refresh a few months back. Let's just see if there happens to be anything. Doesn't seem like it. Let's go up here then. I do like Winding River. This is one of the bed bedroll spawns as well. You can find a bedroll in the cave here. There we go. Nice. Hypothermia risk healed <laughs> by just being outside. Did and I now it's getting colder again. So now it's minus four. Really do. Now it's getting a bit colder. Or it could be that I'm not protected actually. Yeah. Uh, I got nine arrows. Maybe I should kill some rabbits with this level up archery while I'm at it. I'm guessing that the arrow breaks on one hit. I'm actually not that good at shooting rabbits with the arrows because I never do it. I don't want to use my arrows to hunt rabbits, so I never really hunt them with the bow. So I might be a little bit out of practice for this. Give it a try though. Being as they break, we must do some long distance. Eh. Very small targets. How much condition damage does that take? Hardly anything. Well then, we might as well just go free for all. It hit him, but it didn't kill him. Wow. I think I can use huh. This. Well, it doesn't kill rabbits either. Okay, I guess it does. Okay, it does. It's just uh, not guaranteed, I guess. Interesting. That it survived a hit like that. Any more rabbits? Oh, there's more up there, but we don't need that. 
twitch arrows in case the wolf shows up. And I think we're going to spend the night here, probably. I am tempted to get the wolf as well. Can we get the wolf to come over to the cave? Because there's a wolf here. And then we can have a nice little feast. And it's more... <clears throat> it's more worth it to use a match. Just to get some more food. Hey, Wolfie. Okay, I guess the wolf not around. It doesn't seem like the wolf is around. Hmm. Right, in that case, I think we will just continue onwards, I think. We can just cook it inside the dam or something. Yeah, there's no uh, no wolf. How unusual. There's usually like one or sometimes two wolves here. But they seem to have uh, gone hibernating. Well, that's alright. Oh, there's the wolf. Hey, what? <laughs> Let him go. Killed him all the way over there, wow. Uh, should I cook it? Yeah, maybe we could have a little ice cooking. Why not? I wonder if I can hit him from here. see where it lands let's kill it and we'll do a little cooking here oh it was barely a miss those arrows you can see it landed really close he's none the wiser look at that one of the arrows is actually next to him look at that he broke close like that you have to aim a little bit under the head okay, I'm gonna use this food so I'm gonna actually use a match here and start a fire and I think we will put the fire can I put it here that would be interesting then it might be protected like here or something that would be something, wouldn't it, if you could put it here? I didn't think so. What about here? I don't suppose you can put it here, can you? Oh, that doesn't really count. Uh, we'll just do it in the open here. We'll do it in the open. Come on, little fire. Ooh. Come on! <laughs> Astrid always so upset. Come on! <laughs> Come on, little fire. There we are. Let's put in the coals we found. And then, three rabbits. <laughs> Let's grab the meat from them first. Just cook that. And we'll harvest the rest. Ooh, quite low calories there. 14 minutes, so two seconds. Okay. No. Um, yes. 
Okay. All right, so now we fix the starvation issue. That is, oh, we don't have much water either. Point, point one kilos. Okay. All right. Oh, now the sun is out. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Hmm. In case the wind blows this out. I have a protected torch over there. Seems like the wind isn't strong enough. Famous last words. Is strong enough. Well, that's why I grabbed that torch and threw it. Because over here we're protected. Or at least more protected. Although the sun is out, so it doesn't really matter. But we can make it here. Yeah, we could use the mag lens anyway, so it doesn't really change anything. But nevertheless. And you notice the wind picking up like that is smart to be prepared for having to change position, just like they did earlier in the um, by Quan set. Go. Now, these ones we can harvest over here. That's no problem. Let's also just do this. Let's put on. Two liters then. And then we'll put on one liter here. Yeah. And I'll harvest the wolf. Before it gets too cold. Let's get all of this. Ooh. Yeah. Four minutes, take that. And I'm gonna use this to cook. Gotta warm up somehow. Do it by weight. Do the small one first. Use that to warm up, eat it. And then we can do this. I don't think we need the guts from the wolf. I wouldn't say no to the hide. The sun is setting. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. Let's grab the hide. Guts can stay. There we go. I need to find a place to rest. Now we have way more food. And there. And there. 39 minutes. Should be fine. Let's just harvest these. I'll just rest them indoors. Go. Nine minutes. Guess we can grab the guts for these, why not? Okay, I think that's good. I'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. Oh, I didn't realize there was a raw meat there. Must have been carrying it without realizing. Oops. 21 minutes, and what's the other one? 39, okay, well in that case we're using the coal. Let's harvest this then, in that case. Drink. 
Oh, listen to those night sounds. Six minutes. Let's grab this. Go. Done. Mm, I think we're all right, yeah. Take that, take that, and grab a torch. And now we're very heavy, but that's okay. <laughs> we got some more food, more pals. Hey, another rabbit, but we don't need that. Now it's going to be a bit of a walking simulator into the dam. So the route we took to get to Trappers to is uh, way longer than usual. But we got the stim, we got some more supplies, we got some mapping done. The Thompson's Crossing and the Memento there. So yeah, we got, thing we got things done. It's alright. See how many cattails do I have? Then I'm gonna leave it. I just, generally speaking, have a rule to always have 12 cattails on me. And unless I started running low on food, I don't pick them up. If all I had was cattails now, I would pick them up to have more cattails on me. But because I also have the rabbit uh, food and also the um, the, uh, the wolf meat, I don't really need it. So therefore, I'm, gonna, I'm going to leave it as well. A lot of people ask me about that. Why don't you pick up the cattails or the, the rose hips and so on? It's just because I, I consider them storage. I just leave them where they are, so I can loot them when I need them. Because I don't really need them otherwise. There are some exceptions, like in areas that, that have moose and climbing, I like to always have quite a few row sip teas around. For example, Tim Wolf Mountain, it's good to have a lot of row sips there. Because if you were to get stumped by a moose, you need four painkillers or four uh, rose hip teas to cure the broken ribs. And you can't climb ropes until they're cured. So in areas like that, like Timberwolf Mountain, Ash Canyon, Hush River Valley, that sort of place, it's good to have um, it's good to have a lot of painkillers around. For example, and every base should have at least two. Uh, Raishi teas or antiseptics or something. Or you should also carry it on you, to be to be fair. Just to be prepared for the eventuality in case you get mauled or enter wolf struggle or something like that. Uh, However, infection is not that big a deal. Like, infection is not the worst uh, if you get that. But food poisoning, though, is draining. So if you get food poisoning, you need to have a Raishi tea or antibiotics ready for that. You can survive it, though. As you saw earlier in this se series, I got food poisoning and deliberately didn't do anything, just let it cure naturally. You can do that, but it's usually best to have a rice tea for that. But uh, <clears throat> infection, like, I've actually never gotten an infection by playing normally from a wolf or bear bite. I did get it in my afflictions challenge I did earlier, and surprisingly it was pretty easy to cure, it didn't really do much. But yeah, uh, you can of course harvest all of the teas and the benefit of harvesting all of the raishi and rose hips that you see is that, well, when you cook the teas, you level up cooking. So you will level your cooking skill by doing it. And the other good thing is that if you carry a bunch of teas around with you and you drop them for heat, you can travel further without taking cold damage. So there are probably more upsides than downsides to picking up the... the TE components. So generally speaking, like it's perfectly fine to do that. But because I personally don't really need it that often, I just tend to leave them behind. If I know I'm going far, for example, I know I'm going to travel the Broken Railroad or something like that, I need more teas, I might pick some more up. But uh, I try to prioritize picking up birch bark instead if I can, because it also heals. Ultimately, how you do that is up to you. Some players think it's like a cardinal sin to leave anything behind. So like every single rose sip and raishi needs to be harvested. Otherwise, it's uh, <laughs> it's no good. <laughs> and that's, of course, entirely uh, up to each player. Starting to feel numb. Let's see here. 
And here there used to be a, a, a thing here where you could fall off the dam if you were too close to the edge. And uh, that doesn't really happen anymore. I think it's in the fix. But even if you fell off the edge, you won't die. It seems really scary, but it's not that scary. Um, you can actually go down there, no problem, because it's, it's a slope. It's not a straight fall. If you fell off here, uh, you probably would get a sprain, take some fall damage. You, you, but you probably wouldn't die unless you're very low health. So you, you would be fine. You would be fine. Uh, you just have to go crawl all the way down, press crouch and crawl all the way down. And then you have to go all the way up again, of course. Yeah, we're going to sleep in the dam. I don't, generally speaking, I don't like sleeping in the dam because you get the electrical cables, but they are only certain places. So we're going to ignore that. There we are. I'm going to let this torch burn out because it doesn't really matter anymore. Chuck that. I'm going to go in here. How is the rabbit? And sleep. There we are. Let's uh, drop these things. And I need to harvest. I'm just going to use the knife this time. Drop this and this. I'm going to put a little note. Pick up stuff and head to trappers. Put this down. We're going to sleep here. Uh, let's eat. Ease. Drink. And then we'll sleep for 10 hours. And if the Aurora hits, there are no cable says so we'll be fine. No problem. There we go. 63 days. We might as well sleep two more hours. Let's have another wolf bite. A drink. And we'll sleep two more hours. And there we go. Alright, fellow survivors, I think we're gonna call it there. I was gonna continue till Trappers, but it takes a while, so I think we'll stop here in the dam. Nice little journey with some loot, exploration, mapping, and so on. We got the stim. We got some we got some more rabbit hides to take back home also, which is great. It's always good to have rabbit hides back in base. Uh, so what we're going to do now, next episode, is going to pretty much just walk through the dam and head straight home. We already looted this place. So there isn't really anything to do here as such. The next episode, we're going to go to Trappers. We're going to do some repairs and prepare for the journey to broken railroads we're gonna go there next and then go to the forsaken airfield possibly in the next episode the new cooking and stuff is out but we'll have to see it might be next episode might be one after we'll have to see about that but in any case uh thank you for watching and i'll see you next time survivors bye bye